Hi everyone, it's Peter here and in this video, I'm just going to show you a few of the accessibility options in Chrome, which come in really useful when you're presenting your screen over Google Meet or creating a screencast. So let's get started by going down to the bottom right and clicking on the clock. And then if we go up here and select settings, which is the gear icon, and then there's a couple of ways of getting to the accessibility options. We can either click on advanced and scroll down, find accessibility, click on manage accessibility features and go into there. Or if you know what you're looking for, we can just simply type in uh, an option into the search here. So let's look at mouse cursor settings first of all. And we're taken straight to the mouse and touchpad settings in accessibility. So this is a much faster way of finding it. And there's three really useful options under mouse and touchpad, which I wanted to show you. The first one is to highlight the mouse and cursor when it's moving. So if I turn this on and when I start moving my mouse, I get a bright red uh, circle which appears. If I stop moving it, it disappears. So that's a very useful one. You can also make your cursor bigger and you can adjust the size here. Let's leave it on the bigger setting. And the last mouse setting I wanted to highlight is you can change the color. So you've got uh, a few different colors to choose from here. Let's try a blue cursor. Or ask your students what they think works best. Okay, so the next option I wanted to show you is the full screen magnifier. So let's type up here, full screen magnifier. Look, it's already found it. So let's select this option and it's highlighted down here. So let's turn this on. And what this does is it allows me to pinch and zoom on my screen. So I'm on a touch screen Chromebook at a moment. And I'm just going to use my two fingers to zoom in and pan around the screen. So let's switch to a presentation and show you what it looks like on there. So this is Google Slides. And I can also zoom in to this. This works on Google Meet if you're presenting your whole desktop. And likewise, it works on Screencastify if you're recording your entire desktop. Last of all, there are a couple of options in Google Meet which students can enable on their devices to make Google Meet more accessible for them. So the first one of those is just to simply pin the teacher's screen on their device. So this hides all of the other uh, faces on Google Meet, just making the teacher's screen the primary focus. It makes it larger. And we can make it larger still by simply going full screen on our browser window. So this makes it much easier to read for presentation text. The other option students can enable is to turn on captions. Now this will use Google's AI and machine learning to display everything the teacher says. And this is, of course, very useful for students who are hard of hearing, but also for students who might be working in a noisy environment or where the audio is bad quality. Well, that's it for this video. If you've got any other Chromebook accessibility tips, please do leave a comment on this video. And thank you for watching.